Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different to what I usually do. I am going to be doing a makeup look kind of inspired by the sims so basically one of my good friends Elshad who is an avid sims fan just like me went on the sims and he made me while I am going to be recreating the look Elshad has created for me and the sims I'm going to be talking to you guys about some fresh drama that just took place a couple of minutes ago which is hilarious and it's also pretty serious right now even though i'm like laughing and i'm smiling i am actually raging and and i'm going to be including the products i used on my face in the description in case you were interested but if you like my makeup let me know if you want more content like this so yeah okay so there's some pinks Ooh, he wants me to go for pink oh he has a lot of custom content beach Ooh, he did he just put a heart? Oh, that's so cute! I'm getting like some Marina and the Diamonds Electra Heart vibes from this look, which I'm not unhappy about. Oh, don't give me light lipstick, it accentuates my book. Okay, so he picked the pink shade that I have. Since I have really oily skin recently, I've been using NYX's Shine Killer Primer. Anyways, so what happened today? Basically, I shared this post on instagram of cops hitting civilians on the street in india for leaving their house and i know that to fit someone's agenda they can automatically become human right activists and people are like oh my god that's so barbaric and blah 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 and i was like bah, bela, we need this kind of enforcement in azerbaijan because honestly like don't do that Anyways, so I decided to go onto this page and read the entire article, which is a really good news source, by the way. And I just fell into the comment section. Now, I'm not someone that uses foundation too much. In fact, I use the bb cream by ponds it's one of my favorites so yeah anyways so i decided to go into the comment section and basically see what people have to say about the ongoings in india until i stumbled across a comment that literally said this Özleri kimi dibil usullar hindistanlılar ela özleri gezen viruslular baştan ayağı virus onlardan korkar now if this comment was made in a country like the United States or England. This would be considered as straight up blatant racism. And this comment would probably get reported by many for hate speech. But instead, this woman got 13 likes on her comment. And to support her comment, there was this person that literally said, Belli düz değirsiz, bizde biri işleyirdi. Breni adında, onun derdinden men borzalık etmem vaktim değil. Body order is only exclusive to Indian people. Hele başka iş yoldaşlarım Hindistan'da iki ay istemiştiler onların danışıklarından kulak asan asanda adam dehşete gelir ki insanın yaşayışı terzinin hayvandan fergi olmalıdır ya yok i love animals i mean i actually love animals more than people but to compare humans to animals with the intent of being derogatory it's not like you're saying oh you're as cute as a puppy you're saying that you are the same as a fucking swine that's when i get pissed off because you don't do that this is like straight up racism and it's accepted in azerbaijan after reading these comments i commented bir nefer pis olsa ve pis beden iyisi olan şahsa göre bütün hindistana gına Heyf ki Azerbaycan kimi mühteşem ülkede sizin düşüncelerinizi olan adamlar var. No, I get it. My Azeri is not perfect. But I tried and I think I made my point pretty clear. I posted the comment 
To which this lovely lady replied in the most condescending tone, may I add. Canım benim. Siz önce fikrinizi çattırabilme için Azerbaycan dilinde düzgün yazmağı öğrenin. Sonra güya Azerbaycan'ı düşünerek benim düşüncemde olan adamları gınıyın. Hindistanların ne kadar murdar halk oldukları bütün dünyaya məlumdur. Size məlum değilse biraz mütaliye edip mariflerimizi məsləhəti görürəm. Deyəcəm bu kadar. Now that I'm done with putting on my BB cream, I'll just quickly move on to my eyebrows. I use this brow pencil and gel and I'm just gonna be going in lightly. I add red eyeshadow to my eyebrows anyways because I have brown eyebrows. Anyways, let me just tell you guys a little bit about the Swachh Bharat campaign we have in India. So the Swachh Bharat mission started in 2014 and it was led by the BJP government. Although I tend to be pretty against BJP, this is one of the good things that they have done and I highly appreciate them for doing this. They basically made from 2014 to 2019 100 million toilets all over India. Now keep in mind, India is not a small country like Azerbaijan. Our states are as big as the entirety of this country. Now, I'm not putting anyone down here. It's just a fact. And the fact that this mission was to create a clean India not only constructed toilets all over the country, but they also did this to reduce litter, to reduce people from spitting on the street, to reduce so many other factors. A really good video that actually taught me about this Swachh Bharat campaign was a video by one of my favorite YouTubers known as Carl Rock. Carl basically made a video testing out toilets in India. Not only did he use one of the Swachh Bharat uh, toilets, but he also used the municipal toilet, which is really cool. And sometimes, yes, it's a true fact that not everyone in India has a toilet at home. The same thing as in some pantler in Azerbaijan. It's completely normal. People do not take a shit on the streets because they enjoy doing it out there. Let me just make that absolutely clear for you guys. They shit on the streets because they literally Actually, don't have houses that are constructed with toilets in them. I was thinking of rebuttaling this woman's argument, but before I posted my comment, she deleted her comment. Now I'm going to be going in for contouring using my Makeup Revolution palette. I'm going to use the setting powder by Note. Now that I'm done with that, I just go in and I choose this light pink shade. I mix it in with a little bit of golden and i use that as my highlight and i'm gonna get back to the message this woman sent me but right before i do that i'm just gonna go in with this blush palette i'm going to be going in with this eyeshadow base by nyx and basically priming my eyes okay so this lovely lady texts me and she's like i don't know why you disagree with my point of view may be you are indian but nevertheless it's my opinion. The whole world knows about their disgusting lifestyle. I'm really sorry, but that's true and fact. They don't have any differ from animal lifestyle. I am so tempted to stoop on her level and make fun of her English, but I'm going to be the bigger person and not go further into that ditch. To which I responded, Hi there. Everyone is entitled to their point of view. But racism is racism. There might be Russians or Turkish or even Azerbaijanis who don't shower or smell bad. As someone that has used public transport in Azerbaijan, I would know. But I don't go on social media bashing them for it. As an Indian that has lived in Azerbaijan for the past 20 years, I have tried my best to learn and communicate in the language even though English is my first language. As someone that highly appreciates the country I live in, I encourage others to learn Azerbaijani as well and do not bash others when they make grammatical errors. And I want to stress on that point that I made. Before I joined school, which was when I was 12 years old, I was homeschooled and I did not know Azeri. Neither did I know Hindi. All I knew was English and Russian. I'm going to be going in with this palette by NYX to add the crazy pink colors. Anyway, now 
keep in mind we spoke english at home and i learned russian from drivers or maids that we had obviously i did not learn the language academically but i knew it but when i joined school they put me in extra russian class in that extra russian class not only was i made fun of by my classmates i was also made fun of my russian teacher yes samira khanum and siza bakhra yes i know i don't speak russian now that i'm 22 years old i know the language but because you made fun of me that one time when i said stakan instead of stakan i decided not to fucking continue learning the language and i don't know what is it with azeri people who literally think that they are the founders of the russian language itself but it's not cool i swear to god many russians don't give a shit if you say takoy or takay but because of the stigma that you guys have put upon me i never looked into the language and i never took a further interest in learning it properly so my point is never ever fucking criticize someone for not knowing a language well enough that demotivates people and i wish people wouldn't do that to others plus comparing indians lifestyles to those of animals is abhorrent I hope you're never in a professional situation where you are allowed to share your opinions on others for your own sake. This kind of behavior is unacceptable and gives Azerbaijanis a bad rep. And after I sent her that message, she replied a couple of hours later. If the life and lifestyle there is so perfect as you insist, you may go and live in your own country then. Yes, she pulled a go back to your own country on me. And she's like, but to my mind, you are lucky enough that you you'd get rid of that country and come to live here. Happy for you. That is awful. No one has ever said that to me, and I was literally laughing. I went into a laughing fit over this shit because I was so shocked. And that was where my conversation with this woman ended. I didn't want to further argue, so I just liked her message, and I decided not to say anything. not because i'm passive or i'm scared because honestly i'm scared for her at this point there is no way you are going to go your entire life without getting called out for that kind of behavior i haven't been to the united kingdom i haven't been to the states i haven't been to any european countries yet in my entire life if i could use the internet to gain the level of information about how you should behave in modern day society i'm pretty sure people that spend all their fucking time on instagram watching turkish memes could use the internet to educate themselves instead i'm just going to draw on my eyeliner using this golden rose intense black eyeliner it's it's okay It's it's okay for like photo shoots it's not good for like using it out in public and now for the heart i'm not sure which is my good side i think yeah this is my good side so i'm going to have to add the heart like over here i think i'll just go for like marina and the diamonds and just draw the heart here and now that that's done for the lipstick the mascara and i'm good Now I have that color by NYX, which Elsha used, and it is which one is it? It's Beijing. Oh God, it's so pink. Uh, I'm gonna mix it with like some neutral shade so that it suits me a bit more because I can never use Beijing like. on its own plus it accentuates my bugh and i really wouldn't want the guys who are singing bugh luga sahtararam to come and find me because because that is not the crowd i am trying to attract here but yeah this is the look elshad wanted me to do so if it looks awful Don't go and send him hate. He's like he's my boo. I love him so much. Before I go, I just want to say, be respectful to everyone around you. And I'm sorry if this video might not be according to your taste. Not all guys would like to watch me put makeup on my face, but it is what it is, sis or bruh. Please stop racism in Azerbaijan. Please stop toxic masculinity. Please stop 
everything that is stopped in other countries. Please stop doing that. That's the least I can ask for. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.